All right, welcome to our third feature match here for week four. And uh, we got a, uh, a new player to us in the feature match, uh, Jacob. He's played in about, I think, five or six leagues now. Uh, and he'll be playing against Johnny, who uh, we know quite, <laughs> quite well. Uh, I play him every single league. He's uh, one of our veterans here. And uh, what's he got there? Disgusting. It's teamer stuff. Of course, you've seen the two lands and the, the creature on the field. He's got another forest, a uh, Jeskai scout, uh, a Wooly Longhorn, the uh, Misfire Weaver, Crippling Chill, and a round out the hand, the Scion. What's Jacob working with over there? Well, this is bringing back some uh, some traumatic memories from yesterday where he uh, gave me a proper beating here, Jacob did. Um, he's got the Feet of Resistance, the Mardu Horde Chief, the Debilitating Injury, a freshly drawn Mardu Skull Hunter, and the uh, Ride Down, which was uh, a very, uh, very big player in defeating defeating me yesterday. So uh, I faced down his deck, and he uh, he he trampled all over me, <laughs> Figurative, figuratively and literally. I guess uh, Johnny's not interested in the trading in the ballpark of uh, four open mana slots, so he'll just take it. And then uh, for turn, he does have uh, the Born Away. Yeah. The so, red five drop. Yeah, so ast astute minds will know that four mana is not enough to win combat when uh, between two twos, but uh, I think Johnny would just rather have his his creatures there. And uh, rare rare uh, Mistfire Weaver being played face up four mana three one flyer. I mean. It ain't pretty, but, you know, it, it'll do the trick. Yeah, I guess Johnny's saying I, I'm just going to try and win this through uh, the air and see what we can do from here. But this does leave clean attacks. Yes. Does Johnny go for the 2-3 or no? He says, you know what, I value my flyers. Yeah, well, we have Feet of Resistance and Ride Down here to uh, to punish anything that happens. So the Ride Down punishes a block, and the Feet of Resistance punishes a potential targeting that Johnny might do. So the race is uh, very truly uh, on here. I guess you see a Scion. Let's see if she's going to drop it. Blocks yeah. pretty well. Seems well, good to me. It does not block very well in the face of a ride down. I can tell you that much. <laughs> I, uh, I, found, I, 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 thought, I thought I had blockers against uh, against Jacob. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I think he had... Well, I know in the second game he had two ride down. I was just like, well, the first one I was like, okay, it's a big setback. The second one was completely backbreaking. Yeah, this is... Just two mana, destroy anything that has blocked your creature, and your creature deals damage anyway. Like it's about as good an aggro trick as you will ever see. Yeah, the trample net is really good. I think I made the mistake of blocking once. Uh, someone went to go punch Thorn, and I did not realize Ride Down also gave trample. So the damage does not miss. It's pretty good. Yeah, I think it's a bit of an un uh, underutilized uh, design space here. Because we see a lot of these destroy attacking or blocking creatures, and usually the aggro decks don't want those because it doesn't help them push through damage. Yeah, um, putting trample on this just makes it crazy. I mean, it only hits blocking creatures, which is which is fine. But yeah, it's like, perfect because you're always on the like you're you're aggressive, right? And it's so <laughs> they cheap, should be blocking. and it doesn't not matter what the size of that creature is. It doesn't matter if it's a one one or a six seven elephant. No matter what size it is, it gets taken down. Just. Uh, you know, very, very fearful effect here. So, Johnny's going to say, you know what? I don't know what your morph is. Let's just burn it away. He doesn't want to know. He says, uh, let's get that out of here. It was the Ponyback Brigade, after all. Ponyback Brigade is, I, I, I'm I absolutely in love with that card. Yeah, Ponyback uh, Brigade would have been uh, would have been game here, but so is the Arrow Storm that just got drawn. <laughs> well, that'll also do it. I mean, I, I guess uh, Jacob had multiple ways there, because Johnny only had the Crippling Chill. So game one goes to Jacob. Yeah, and uh, you know he executed his plan. He's got uh, his he's he, he's got um, a, a bit of red here, but he's mostly a white black deck. So he has Arc Lightning. He has a couple of four drops and the Arrow Storms and the Ponyback Brigades. But all of his uh, two and three drop creatures are all in the white and black colors. So his early early creatures are all uh, you know in those two colors. So that looks a little better. Johnny's got a little mix, especially in the two drop slot. I see about four two drops in green, and then five split between blue and red. And the same thing for the three drop slot with four alpine grizzlies, and then three crippling chills, and uh, two of the uh, owl herds. But I mean, it's pretty split amongst pretty much everything. And the top ends, 
mainly blue and red. Yeah, Mana Y, like, again, like I was mentioning before, that's not always where you want to be. Um, with your three-colored X, you want something closer to probably how uh, how Jacob has drawn it up here. And and he has not... He has three ride-downs, actually, now coming, coming wow. to see it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's pretty good. I thought well, two was a lot. Holy. <laughs> yeah, I guess the, the only thing... Like, the only downfall of that card would be needing your opponent to block, right, and having a creature. But as long as you're playing a density of creatures, and especially at the pony back, he's going to make a, a, enough uh, attacking little uh, goblins as it is. If not, they can do blocking duty while the pony itself keeps punching. Yeah, I mean, the the right down does have the downside is if you are on the back foot, it does absolute nothing. Um, which is, you know, that is that is, that is a knock against it. But uh, it's just so good at what it does. <laughs> Yeah, they knocked Johnny's mana base. Uh, it's coming in clutch here. <laughs> He's got three uh, uh, gain lands and uh, two of the Swiftwater Cliffs. The uh, green blue you just saw, he just drew another green blue one, the Mountain in Hand, and then he has the um, Alpine Grizzly Force Away and a Treasure Cruise. What's yeah. Jacob work? Uh, yeah, Jacob's got a, a, probably a few too many lands for, for his kind of deck. He has a pony. Back, he has a pony back brigade, which you can play as a morph, an arrow storm. Uh, other than that, it's just lands. But he did draw a salt eye scavenger here, so that'll be okay. Yeah, like, I, like I don't know the exact composition of Johnny's pool and his, uh, you know, what he's got. But like Alpine Grizzly is a card. I don't think I really want to run in any deck on uh, on like week four. Like in an in an ideal situation, it's not Definitely. a card. It's not a card I really want to want to be running at this stage in the league. It's fine for the first couple weeks, but um, you know the one thing it does is it triggers ferocious uh, for three mana. It's really the only like area for it. But like if it was four three, I would play it. But being a four two, being blocked by morphs at the exact same spot, but having like no late game inevitability is probably the downside. Yeah, though the cards that did go well with it were cards like Force Away, uh, Awaken the Bear to give it trample. Uh, savage punch, like destroy, like kill their creature and hit them for six. Like uh, Alpine Grizzly did have sort of this place in like a green blue tempo ish uh, deck, but again, like in league, I'm not, I'm not that happy to see it. But uh, you know, I, like like I said, I don't know the exact composition of Johnny's deck. He played a good amount of this format, so I trust he he knows what to do. I mean, Johnny's only been drawing lands, I think, outside of the one land he drew. Well, now, as I say, that he just drew a cheering instigator. But he also That's has a bring low that he drew a uh, turn before. So it's just two lands, a bring low, and a jeering instigator. Cheering instigator is a fun one, though. I like that. Card's very okay. nice. I think he's thinking it between bring low and the instigator. It's looking like bring low might come out. Yeah, like, this is, again, like... Such a knock against Bring Low that it's like four mana for three damage, like kills kills a horde chief that already brought a token along with it. Like, yeah, like red really didn't didn't get uh, a small damage, but like we're so used to just every single set for one or two mana, you have something that deals somewhere in the range of two to three damage to a creature at common. And yeah, I thought he might save it for the pony. <laughs> we, honestly, we got nothing here in this set. Red got. You know, bring low as their small removal. Um, oh. Feet of resistance being left up here. What's what are Johnny's options? Treasure cruise, jeering, and uh, the Mardu War Chief. So War Chief does allow uh, double play actions to happen. So he can swing here, War Chief, and then I believe he has enough to do War Chief and Treasure Cruise if he wants. He better. <laughs> <laughs> Treasure Cruise, oof, you know. Yeah, I, I think he's just looking to grab new cards from hand. So here comes the War Chief or the War Shrieker. Yeah, I'm like uh, you know, I, I've said a lot about Treasure Cruise. It's it just feels good. <laughs> it's funny because I think um, the data says Treasure Cruise ain't no good. <laughs> the, the what? But I think the card's fantastic. I think the card's great. Yeah, you know, I, I said it in my own feature match the other day. Well, the, the con match against Caleb. Like, what better feeling? Tap one mana to draw three cards. Like, what? Yeah. This is this so, is this is living life right here, you know. It's not the greatest of draws. It's two forests and a uh, mist fire warrior. Yeah, it's or weevil. Mostly poor. Um, so really, jeering instigator and the weaver in hand. Is uh, Jacob looking any better? 
No, well, I mean, this 3-3 is going to hold off a bit of his board now, but he can get down the chief. He's strong chief of the edge. He still has the salt eye scavenger, arrow storm, and feet of resistance. So we'll see what he wants to do here. He does have a few options, and he has the pony back brigade in play there. So, uh, you know, he does have several paths he could go down here. I guess he could look to just swing the pony, get some damage in. Uh, the block happens, you feed it. If the block doesn't happen, then you can either just save up the uh, flip or yeah, uh, place it. Yeah, not, not sure this is worth getting, like, using feet to kill the 3-3, but, you know, it is an annoyance. He, is, he said, you know what, it is. It's worth it. And Johnny said, uh, I don't feel like losing my creature to a feat of resistance. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll pass on that. And he's leaving up the feat of resistance here. Um, he does have the Salt Ice Scavenger. I haven't tr tracked how many cards ended up in his graveyard, but um, I'm assuming it's not enough to, to cast it. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wonder if Johnny's going to want to morph the Weaver and try and hold up mana for the activation. No. Okay. Right, so because I'm just getting in. He's attacking, and... Uh, so this first morph is going to be the instigator. All right, so jeering instigator comes down. And then I guess he's going to throw down both. So the instigator and the weaver. Yeah, so instigator is the one that does uh, an act of treason when it's flipped up, but only on your turn. So once again, Except a face... Will be hard cast. So once again, a face up... Uh, Misfire Weaver indicating that he's planning on attacking with it. <laughs> that, that that would be what I read from it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, where the life is currently at, you can kind of get away with that, right? Yeah, I mean, uh, he's not under siege right now. He has a... Um, let's see how he wants to block, if he wants to. We'll have to see if Jeering Instigator can come in clutch in like two to three turns. Yeah, the Jeering Instigator could be pretty, pretty big here. We... Jacob's drawn uh, what what I'm going to just call a signature card here, uh, the ride down for turn. <laughs> I'm, I can't believe Johnny would block here, yeah. All right, so out comes the scavenger. He's going to leave up, he's going to continue to leave up Feet of Resistance here. Ooh, well, Feet just might have found its purpose. There is a Savage Punch. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, he's going to Jeering Instigator here and then look to take throw the out two cards. Take that. But he's going to end up using the feet here. And then now he's going to Savage Punch more than likely still. Maybe. maybe uh, he, can't, he can't kill the... He can't really... He can't I mean, kill I guess, I guess I don't know if he goes the only actual real thing he could do with Savage Punch is kill the morph. That's quite literally yeah, I it. Think, I think that's what you would do. Kill the morph... Uh, I don't think the chief is really that big of a deal. I mean, obviously Johnny's Johnny's not pleased that uh, that his jeering instigator got blown out, but it's better than getting your <laughs> removal spell countered. I mean, yeah, that could have been terrible for Jacob. <laughs> you know, he still has his. Uh, you know, Johnny Johnny still has his, his savage punch, and he is going to utilize it here. Um, like I said, that's basically the only use of it that's viable. But uh, this bird is a big problem here. What's what's the last morph here? Uh, Hordic Ambusher. I'm not familiar okay. with it. If you know what it's. it's the one where you reveal a red card to flip it up. Could be a while. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, when it gets turned face up, target creature can't block this turn. Mm -hmm. uh, it also has the wonderful text, whenever this creature blocks, it deals one damage to you. Yeah. Because back then, they could not print a one and a red... 2-2 two -two creature without a downside. <laughs> I mean, it's fair. I think you guys are talking about that for one of the worst cards. Yeah, well, I don't think it's that. I, I mean, I don't think the Horde Ambusher is that bad. I think the one we were joking about is in the next set, Fate Reforged. There was a Smoldering Afrit, which is a 1 in a red 2-2. Yeah, two -two. Exactly when it right dies, there. you take 2 damage. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> disgusting. That's absolutely disgusting. It was still a couple, I think I think at least two years uh, or a year and a half before we got a, a two mana 2-2 two -two at common with no text, which was like a, a revelation. And now they just print all sorts of upside on all of them. We're, we're, we're way past those days. But for a long time, unwritten rule was, uh, you know, red can't have a two mana 2-2 two -two unless it, unless it hurts you in some way. I mean, it's fair. <laughs> yeah, so, so this, what, the last 
card is Aerostorm, he said? Yeah, so jo- Johnny has to be uh, conscious of that as a possibility. Um, but again, I mean, what's his option? His option is to chump block this, uh, this Salt Ice Scavenger. Like, not really. Yeah. So uh, looking yeah. looking not great here for, for Johnny. He's, I mean, he's drawn a uh, Mystic of the Hidden Way. Yeah, it's just not going to do it. He's uh, going to basically be be uh, dead on board here. Yeah, I guess he's going to do whatever he can to try and live. Yeah, I mean, put out two blockers and just expect to take five. Like, take five from the flyer and uh, be at three. Yeah. And uh, have the three-one flyer and the mystic next turn to deal the last six, but we know uh, we know what's happening here. The jig is up. It's the card that ends uh, quite a lot of games. <laughs> uh, we've seen it in our, in our feature match and con matches already this league, and uh, if you've played cons, you've experienced it. Don't go to five against the red decks, because this is what happens. <laughs> classic way classic way to point. end a game of cons. It's Arkir, Arrow Storm to Johnny's life total, and uh, down he goes. So congratulations to Jacob with his... Uh, aggro deck that ran me over and now uh, take has taken down Johnny in the future match tonight. So congratulations to Jacob and uh, we'll see everybody back next week for more future matches.